update, she is German. <laughs> a.m. and I went to bed at 1 30 a.m. so that's two hours oh and didn't mention yesterday I got two hours of sleep whatever um we are going to Munich Woo! too bad my contacts are glued to my eyeballs and I am so fucking tired I can barely breathe got the big fatty right there about to put this on we just called a taxi and let's go to spring Fest, baby It is so freaking early, the airport isn't even open yet. Hello Mew Mew. This airport is fucking ginormous. We've been walking through it for like 30 minutes. It's a beautiful but cold day. It's literally April 29th, almost May, and it's 36 degrees Fahrenheit. Girl! It is early in the morning though, but it's a good thing I brought my winter coat. Our hotel is a three minute walk, praise the Lord! The Aloft Hotel! We can't check in till 3 and it's 8 a.m. So we checked our bags and we're going to get some bread. Our first stop in Germany, an American breakfast place. <laughs> Devoured, bitch. Devoured. And Mike's devoured by no sleep. What time it is? Lederhosen shopping. Ah! I don't know why it says Paris. Ignore that. We are in Germany. Oh my god, Lederhosen and Drindles. Oh. Okay, so we're trying to find a place. Hell to know. That shit was way too expensive. That was a tourist trap. I heard they're fifty to sixty dollars, not one hundred and fifty euros. Mm, I bitch be broke. Uh -uh. You can't fool me, girl. So we're looking at. Thank you. Okay, we asked our nice hotel worker lady, uh, lobby host, whatever her name is. And she told us where we can find some cheap leader housing. She knows that we're broke bitches. So thank you, girl. Thank you. And another fail. 100 euros for leader housing. Everyone just keeps saying that they didn't have Oktoberfest for the past two years, so the stock is low and they don't have any money. But we're broke too. <laughs> we're contemplating going without them because we're just broke. But that's embarrassing. What do we do? You found a freaking goodwill. Yes. $20. Please fit, please fit. Y'all. These are kids' ones for 20 euros. All the rest are like 100. What? Bitch who bargain is a bitch who bargain. Okay, mad though because they don't have the straps that you're supposed to wear, and I tried to take it off another one, but they're smart. They're smart. That's how it's supposed to look. <clears throat> Basically like this, mm, but I'm sad. Whatever, 20 bucks. I'll take it without this. Update, I found some you can put on and buy separately. Yay! Update, she is German. All that's left is the shirt, which I brought for free. Mm. Bagless bag secured. Yes! Although unfortunately, none of the other bitches got theirs because it was the same price for a fucking Goodwill used ratchet one as it is for a brand new one, 100 euros. So I don't know what they're gonna do, but luckily I'm small like a kid and was able to buy all of this for 34 euros. I've said it once and I'll say it again. A bitch who bargains is a bitch who buys. And that's so serious. <laughs> <laughs> 
Bargaining did not go well, but the leader has been acquired. Let's check in, get changed, and go to Springfield. Ooh. Ooh. I love it. Beautiful. Okay, we took a power nap at 2.30 and set an alarm for 3. And I just woke up. Nobody's here, and it is 8 p.m. <laughs> okay. Well, all my roomies are at Spring Fest without me, but, like, honestly, we're all gonna go all day tomorrow, and I don't even like beer, so I guess I'm not too butt hurt. But I'm deciding if it's worth it to go for the last two hours or just chill here and maybe invite a boy over. Yeah, I'm shook that I slept that long. My contacts are so fucking dry. But, I mean, I've slept a collective four hours in two days, so my body needed it, and as you can hear, I have a sinus infection, so <laughs> I'm not doing so well. <laughs> I actually do remember my roommates trying to wake me up and, like, trying to force me out of bed, and I was like, eh, 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 moaning, and they tried so many times, so I'm not mad, because I know that I was so difficult and basically dead in a coma, but I'm just like, ugh, Cade, why'd you do that? Now you're missing out, because FOMO, but like I said, I'll be there all day tomorrow, so it's okay. Keegan's gonna kill me, but I have a boy coming home. <laughs> He'll be gone by the time Keegan gets back, though. He'll never know until he watches this, but it'll be too late. <laughs> but like, I gotta do something with my time, right? <laughs> oh my god, my face is so red. <gasps> Love you, Keegan. Okay, but for real, I need to find the boys because I have FOMO now. Oh my god. Yeah, I have FOMO now, so where are they at? That's right, bitch. That's right. <laughs> I'm German. I'm German. Ooh, 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 ooh. Catch me out and about tomorrow and tonight. All the boys are eating dinner right now, even though it's like 10.30, but they're all wearing their leader hosing because they just came from, you know, Springfest, obby. So I don't want to be left out, so I put mine on to go. <laughs> it is so hard to put your shoes on in this. Holy fuck. Holy shit. Also guys, the boy that I just had over, who's now my friend, he told me everything I need to know about Munich. Like, what I need to bring to the club, what I, what, which club to go to, everything. There's a gay district, there's a gay street, there's a gay bar, there's a gay club. And it's boys only, which is kind of scary because I guess I have to go alone. My girls can't come with me and the boys definitely don't want to go with me. But also they told me about, he told me about the best straight club for them, which is three floors. Each floor is a different thing. Lower one is like pop music. Second one is like, he said like slut music or something with girls on poles and shit. And like the top one is like the rich people thing. I don't know, but this place is crazy. I'm kind of loving Munich. Mew Mew, Mew Mew. I've been here 12 hours and I already got that D. Because apparently they have one of the best gay lives in like all of Europe here. So catch me out and about riding that donkey. Okay, let's go to dinner, bitches. Mm. Yeah, I'm wearing white vans. I couldn't fit any other shoes and I don't have the right shoes, so get over it. I feel so dumb walking down the street with this on, but I know it's what they wear. <laughs> I'm just all alone and no one else is wearing it because it's just a lot of like random people going up from work and stuff. But it's so funny. I love it. Some guy just tried to ask me for directions because he thought I'm German and lived here. I guess that's a good thing. I look so realistic. I found the German bitches! Alright, I'm doing it. So, <clears throat> it's currently 1am. Keegan is fast asleep, and the other boys are playing pool in the lobby or something, but the guys that I hung out with earlier said that if you want to go to the gay club, tonight's the night to do it. That's when all the young people are there. And I know tomorrow night all the boys want to go to a real club, and like, I don't want to be alone or whatever. I want to go with them and experience that. So it looks like I am going to a gay club alone. Got my mesh shirt on, my black jeans. He said that a lot of them just go shirtless or like wear mesh, so good thing I brought this. I plan for it. Um, I'm really nervous though. I've never gone to the club alone, let alone sober. I haven't had a single sip of alcohol, and I guess I don't plan on it now. And I've never gone to the club alone, and I'm really nervous. I'm just gonna check it out, see the people. If I have fun, I'll stay. It's open till 7 a.m. Not that I'm gonna stay that long, but 
I can have fun and I always dance when I'm sober. You know, I can have fun when I'm sober, so. Let's go. <laughs> So I asked my friend if this is a safe city at night, like, to walk around, and he said, yeah. He was like, but just don't be gay, like, super gay near the train station, because that could be dangerous. Oh, and guess what? I have to walk right through the train station, wearing this. <laughs> God, fuck me. I'm so nervous. I should I feel like a hate crime waiting to happen. Gay Jew takes me in Germany. Oh, yeah, also, it's 46 degrees Fahrenheit at night, and I... I'm walking back from the club. Oh my god, as you can tell, I'm sweaty and gross. It was so fun, guys. Like, okay, I know I'm 20 years old, but that was my first time in a gay club. There's just not a lot, I guess, where I'm from, and there's really none in Florence. But it was so fun. It was like a judgment free zone. Everyone was shirtless. All guys just like dancing like crazy, like me, you know? I finally felt like I belonged in that club. And of course, you know, be me being me. I found a like boyfriend for the night. We were like walking around together, making out, holding on to each other. And then he was like, oh yeah, by the way, that's my boyfriend right with us. And I was like, mm. and um, every time his boyfriend turned around, we'd make out. And then his boyfriend would turn back and be like, sorry, what? So I can't see these two people, I don't know. But I had so much fun. It is currently 4 a.m. And I am walking home through the streets alone, which is definitely a great idea. Thank God it's an eight minute walk. But the outfit was a hit. Oh, I'm so excited. I need to go to more gay clubs. That was like so much fun. Now, time to get four hours of sleep, wake up, and put on a Lederhosen. Good night, bitches! Okay, freaking out because the door is closed. And I don't know how to get into my hotel. And this does nothing. Will I be sleeping on the street tonight? Million dollar question. Please be another door, please. I found another door. Thank the freaking Lord. Good morning! Show off the fit, show off the fit! Look at that German boy. That little German boy who's 6'3". Well, good morning everyone. It is leader ho ho hos in time. We are on our way to Spring <clears throat> Fest. Bad day to be a beer. I know I always get lost on the way to this elevator. Anyway, we're dripped out. I know the backpack ruins a little bit, but we need some shit, so don't judge me. I'm so excited to see what all the hype is about. It is currently noon, so let's get the day started. We have 10 hours of beer drinking and carnival. Sadly, it's supposed to rain all day. Depressed, depresso, espresso. But here, wait, I'm gonna show you all the boys are in their fits. <laughs> let's see the fit, let's see the fit, Tim. Oh. Oh. You know what I'm talking about, Fez? Now listen. Gang, gang, gang in this bitch. Gang, gang, gang in this bitch. Dripped out. We about to go to the Spring Fest. And we are about to drink our sorrows away. We're gonna get crazy on the rides. We're gonna talk <laughs> to some broads. It's gonna be a great time. See the outfit. Get the bag. Get the socks. Oh yeah. He loves right. the socks. Let me tell you this. If you ain't here, you ain't here. Pulling up, pulling up, pulling up, 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 I see it, I see it, I see, it. I see the carnival. <laughs> That's, look at that little gallop. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, okay, okay. Real rapids. <laughs> yes. We found a mofo spinning bar. And Victoria. Victoria! Let's see the drindle, let's see the drindle. Woo! Maggie, let's see the drindle, let's see the drindle. Oh! Shay, let's see the drindle, let's see the drindle. Can you show your fit or did you show it already? I'll hold for you, if you need. Here's Kate's fit, everyone. Oh, fire, fire, flame. <laughs> Look at Christian with his little pretzel. <laughs> 
Maggie is winning the race, beating all the boys in the drear, the beer drinking competition. Who is she? Oh shit! Not even Keegan, the beer lover, can beat this tank of a woman. <laughs> Victoria, chug. It is literally raining though, and I'm like, like, I'm not just trying to get out, I don't want to be trying. Kate needs to get drunk. Get drunk for minor. Get drunk for minor. Come and sell the video. I want a big sausage with cheese. That's my goal of the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want a big sausage too, Victoria. Don't we all? Right? You know what he'll want? We are going to try and get a resi. Because hot the people tent. get hot people get resi. Because the cute people are in the tent. This is where the old boring people stay around. I'm sorry, we don't do that shit. We don't do that shit. So we need to get into a tent. I did not fly thousands of miles. Did not get. M. We're running. Come on. Let's Let's be good. Go. Use those titties, girl. Use those titties. To get us a resi. I'll use what I have. German people are so scary and they're screaming through the microphone. But she talked to them, what did they say? He said, come back the next two hours and it should be fine. So fingers crossed. We shall. I got a freaking bite. I was saying I was saying we do it Sunday. During the day. Drinking too, but I also like to like you know. Cheers! Look at the pretty ladies. Oh for sure.
just said, what if I drop what the fuck the floor and shatter his what fucking is you doing that? You drunk ass! Just the just take the blame. You're not losing anything, just take the blame for it. I, I can't, this is the second glass I've broken today. Yeah. We did it, we got authentic German sausages. First bite! Cheers! Shit, fucking hi! Bite to fuck it! I like it! A lot! Oh, I love this ketchup too. Mike has eaten the whole world. Two grapes, two steak sandwiches, two hot dogs, like. Three rides. Three steak sandwiches, some of them grapes, and like two jobs and like seven like grapes. Michael! You dumb fuck. Oh. Mike! <laughs> Okay, we have been here for eight just hours. Not at night. <laughs> eight hours. It is time to go home, take an hour little relaxation <laughs> period, and then regroup for dinner and the clerk. And once again, we all came back for a quick power nap. We were gonna meet back at 9.40, go to dinner, and then go to the club. At 9.40, Keegan's alarm went off and I said, Keegan, get up! And he goes, make me. So I texted the group chat and I was like, Guys, are we still meeting in the lobby at 9.40? No response. Everyone fell asleep. So I fell asleep too. And I just woke up at 12.30 midnight. And all the other boys fell asleep too. And they woke up at like midnight and now everyone's at the lobby bar and I'm in my pajamas. Looking like this. And Keegan just went down like five seconds ago. So, what the fuck? I'm literally sober now and I'm so tired. Time to beautify myself and go to the club, I guess, sober. It's just how it is now. Okay, here we go. We, we made a friend. She's 33. I don't know what happened. These bitches are so excited. There's a fucking McDonald's in the three story club right there. Holy. Oh my god. Holy shit. Holy shit. This is like airport security. If you're in Munich, come to near um. Holy shit, they just turned Mike away for not dressing nice enough. He has a stock of his own. This place is intense. Keegan the goat switched jackets with Mikey. Woo! It is 3.30 a.m. and we are getting Mickey D's next door. That's right, McDonald's is open. Praise the motherfucking Lord! On second choice, Mickey D's is So I got that guacamole lettuce fries. <laughs> I've never chugged so much water in my life, god damn it. I need to go to bed. Good night. We have five minutes to go, a 19 minute walk. <laughs> what do we do?
literally raining in my fucking face on my fucking camera. <laughs> Okay, so we thought the tour left at 10.55 for the concentration camp. As we're in the taxi, my friend Victoria calls us and says, actually it was 10.10, we missed it, I'm sorry. We just wasted our goddamn money. Ah! Okay, but like, castle vibes. We found the ladies, and what happened? So she was like so and the doors left and we're like So she's gone. Wait, she is gone. Because we were confused we and we were looking at this. This is freaking stressful. Finally, these bitches are coming. It's 11 a.m. and Mr. Mike is eating a tiramisu on the train. Wait, should I give her my honey? Oh, oh, oh my god, it's Shay. She made it. She's alive. Oh my god. That's right, we got on the wrong train. We got on the wrong train. We're at a random station in Germany. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. This is not very helpful. Okay, okay. The fun continues. We almost got on the wrong train again because we were on the wrong platform. Woo! We made it to another train station. Will this one be right? We're really seeing the world will never know. Get the motherfucking train station, okay? Wait. Yes, sir. Out here. You feel me, coach? <laughs> we actually made it to the right stop. Now we have to catch a bus. And we're there. Friend. She's 33. I don't know what. I Keegan the goat switched jackets with. Mikey. Who is this lady? She just sat down at our hotel, huh? You her a drink? Yes. Because I didn't know how crazy she was. <laughs> and then, and then I invited her to the club with us. And I was like, and then like as, well that was like early. And how then old like. Is she? 33. And she, and she, her boyfriend had just broken up with her uh -huh. three hours before getting on the plane to come here. So she was down she bad. Meet him here? She was like grabbing all of us like at the club. Like. She was literally batshit crazy, grinding on me, crazy. tried to make out with me twice, kissing around. my neck. She had I turned herpes. around. I turned around, and you guys were going ass. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> and she, she busts into the boys' bathroom and snorts a lot of cocaine off the toilet. Yeah, the off the toilet. Some man left it for her. Like this seat? Was or it or I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she was goddamn fucking yeah, I, nuts. That is such like a crazy thing for that disgusting. guy. Disgusting. And 33. Oh Fair. Right yeah. <laughs> and she was like, I've never seen anybody like that. She, she was literally, well, once she started cocaine, she was just like, <laughs> like she wouldn't stop she moving. Was she like and she was, was she cute? Yeah, was she pretty? No, she was wrinkly. No, she was crazy. Okay. She was, she was, she was probably the most crazy woman I've talked to in my life. She was like, she was like 45. Really? She, was, she didn't look like she did so much drugs, dude. She was like, Wait, she so she, you know what she said? I said, this. It's so funny she did that because she told me and you at the hotel lobby that she quit cocaine. Remember she said that? She Not said, last night. She's like, I haven't so done any drugs. She's like, I don't think Someone left it for her in the bathroom. For like Rando years. And then she was like, I left you a gift in there. Oh. Or she was like, I am mad that she like, <laughs> Denver. She was running water. Yeah. She was crazy. Like, she, yeah. would, she would say yeah. something and start like, hysterically laughing in your face, and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> you're just like, like bagging away. Like, like, right. Yeah, like, she like grab your, she would grab, I would, we would be walking <laughs> and like moving dance floors. This place is huge. You guys, what if you see her? And I'd be like behind her, no. and then she would turn her around again? and like latch onto my wrist with like her fucking like claw. It was a claw. I was like trying to get it. Like she <laughs> such a tight grip. I was like, oh my god. She was like wrapping her hand around my waist. We were yeah. To go. She grabbed she my crotch once. Yeah. For real. <laughs> she did buy me what? a drink though. She made up for it. This lady was. So all was good. She bought me. A
Definitely a must see in your life. Lita Holson. Squad rolling out. Spring Fest day three, baby. Woo! Oh, no line. Yes! Look at the beauty. Covered in beer, smelling like beer. My phone smells like beer. My camera smells like beer. My background smells like beer. My shoes smell like beer. My socks smell like beer. The culprit. I'm just starved to death. Christian just dropped his vaccine card. Oh no. But I got a long sausage. I need that to get home. No. <laughs> Yo, you can easily get that shit. Hey, stick your skinny ass hands in there. Yes. Come on, Savior. Come on, This way. Christian, hold it up! Hold that hog to your face, Woo! bro! Got the jumbo dog! Hey! <laughs> Tim is scared to go on the Ferris wheel. He has never been on one in his whole life. Tim! Acts all strong, but he's a little baby. One fart. Thank you. To me, to me, to me, is nervous. To me, to me, to me, is nervous. and the park is closed. Say goodbye to Spring Fest 2022, baby. Bye, Spring Fest. Thank you for your Woo! 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 Suddenly the Sober Sisters have arrived. And we're with a pack of feral wolves. <laughs>
Well, good morning. <coughs> it's 534 a.m. Another day of three hours of sleep. I gotta go to the train, get to the station, aka the airport, get on my flight, go home and sleep all day long, please. The other boys don't have it till like 3 p.m. So looks like I'm on my own today. I don't mind, I'm a big boy, I got this. Best part about flying into Florence is the one Euro 50 tram ride right to my house. Well, a little bit of a way, like 10 minute walk, but nasty in the machine. Here she is. It's the easiest, shortest travel day I've had yet. God, I love the Florence airport. If you ask why I don't always fly from there, it's because it's a very small airport, so a lot of times the flights are expensive and or they don't even fly into it. But this one, God, I'm so happy to be home in Florida. Flight at 8 a.m. and home at 10 a.m. Now that's how it should be. Thank you guys for coming to Munich with me. I had so much fun.